being able to provide key hardware management functions from within the framework of existing systems management tools is an important aspect of our XClarity family of offerings. We know many customers already utilize the Microsoft System Center family of products, so integration with these consoles is critical. On this chart, we can see a summary of our integration into these three key areas. For Microsoft System Center Operations Manager, our focus is on things like inventory and monitoring. For System Center Virtual Machine Manager, we focus on being able to integrate both the physical as well as the virtual environment. So doing things like eliminating downtime within the cluster during hardware maintenance to be able to respond to a hardware event and automatically put a machine into maintenance mode is a key example of the function that we have there. And then finally, with System Center Configuration Manager, obviously focusing in on configuration management, new firmware updates, deployment of custom images, right, getting that new hardware set up, and then managing the configuration over the life of that system. For today, I want to show you some demonstrations of the first two, a little bit of what we do within Operations Manager, and then a good glimpse of what we do within Virtual Machine Manager. So we're going to start with Operations Manager. And we can see here the overall view from a monitoring of my environment. And already we can see that we've got a couple of critical events being identified here that we might be able to look into a little bit more detail as we go. Now, as we look at the monitoring menu here on the left, we can see a number of different areas that we're exposing information out into Operations Manager. And you can see a, a long list of things here, hardware, uh, general Lenovo hardware, specifically Flex Systems, for example. Uh, and we can expand these things out. And again, you can see kind of the wealth of information that's available here. To make things a little bit easier, I'm going to go to my workspace where I've got a couple of things that I use on a regular basis. So let me start off with the server summary view. You can see I've only got a few systems here that we're looking at, but it gives me a lot of good information about that machine, back around information about its inventory, model, serial number, for example. And in this case, we're highlighting a critical event. Let's find a little bit more about what that critical event is. I'm going to move up to the Active Alerts view here. And we can see we've got a couple of things going on. I'm going to click on the red one. And we can see down the bottom specifically the description here that we've got a, a memory problem on one of my systems. It's telling me exactly which system, which DIM. But let me go into my physical memory view. And we can see specifically now the memory DIMs across the different servers. And we're identifying the system that's got the problem, the specific DIM, and again, as we look across these columns, right, a lot of good detailed inventory information about that particular DIM that I might need to know, uh, either if I was going to replace the bad DIM or perhaps I'm looking at expanding my memory on one of the other systems, right? A lot of good solid uh, inventory information that's going to be critical for me to have. So we're looking at memory information. Maybe I can look at adapter cards, right? I've got a fiber channel card in this particular system. Once again, lots of good information about that about the worldwide name, about the speeds and such that we've got set up there. Uh, I can also get into a little bit more information, for example, on firmware. Right? I need to know firmware levels across my different systems. I've got a lot of that information reported in here, as well as more uh, active information, power and temperature readings, for example. Right? I can go in and look at power consumption, temperature readings from across the systems. So again, a lot of information, too much information to go through all of it, but it kind of gives you a, hopefully a good feel for how we've integrated into Operations Manager to provide the kind of data that I think administrators need uh, right in the console that they're already using. Let's move on to the Virtual Machine Manager. And we're going to look at a couple of different things here, a couple of different ways that we can navigate within Virtual Machine Manager. Uh, on the top here, you can see that we've got access uh, for systems that are currently installed, right? Systems that I'm currently running inside my cluster. I've got a couple of different systems that are discovered here. Down the bottom here, you can see we can also manage systems that don't even have Hyper-V installed yet. Right? So this is a key value proposition here and how we're extending the, the usability of Virtual Machine Manager by talking to my XClarity administrator server here. If I select this, right, we can go through and we can do things that are key to getting the system set up uh, before it's even got Hyper-V installed and before it's, it's joined the cluster. So let's go over here to the, to the configuration patterns. Right? This is a key function. Some of you may be familiar with this capability from earlier demonstrations of XClarity Administrator. Right? Configuration patterns is the ability to have a set of standard con hardware configurations so that when new hardware comes into my shop, I don't have to spend a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what the setup ought to be. 
I can just select one of my standard patterns. So we can see here a list of systems, and I'm going to filter down. I'm looking for a specific new node that I've just installed. In fact, you can see I've got a couple of these nodes here available. And so I can select these nodes, and I can select then the pattern which I want to deploy out to those particular systems. You can see I've got a number of different things in my shop. We run a little VMware, we run a little Windows, right? Maybe I want to have this set up as my standard EBC node or a Windows boot environment. Whatever pattern I select, that's going to do things like set up the hardware, set up the, the storage, set up the network adapters, customize the firmware for me in that process, right? And so I can get to those systems now fresh out of the cardboard box. The next thing I might want to do once I get that hardware defined is I might want to check the firmware levels. So my next tab over firmware compliance is going to allow me to have access to that kind of function. And again, those that might be familiar with our XClarity Administrator tool, this is going to look very familiar. This is exactly the same screen and layout that I have within XClarity Administrator, but here I'm exposing it into my virtual machine manager environment. So once again, I might want to search for those new nodes that I have available. And we can see in this case, uh, one of these systems has uh, already got a compliance policy assigned, but I might be interested in this other system. I'm going to select the compliance policy. And so now it's doing a health check for me, right? So I got the hardware set up. Now I'm looking at the firmware. Firmware looks like it's good to go. If I did have to do an update, it would be simple enough to select these systems. Let's say instead of being compliant, it would come back and said I had some down level firmware. I could simply select the systems and come right here to perform the update. Now, when I do the update, I've got a couple of choices here. All right, if this is actually a brand new system, I might just simply uh, select immediate activation because a brand new system is not currently running any hardware or excuse me, any, any workloads. Uh, you know, I might need to uh, reboot a couple times to get that firmware update accomplished. And that's fine. It's not running any workloads. But let's say instead it's actually uh, an active system, right? Maybe this is a system that's already in the cluster and I want to be able to do a firmware update for that one. So in that case, I might choose delayed activation, and then we'll see in a moment how I can orchestrate the process of, of rebooting each of the nodes uh, in the cluster uh, one by one. So again, a very similar for folks that have seen some of our demonstrations of XClarity Administrator, uh, exactly the same function, exactly the same interface. So let's move from, from this view uh, where I, I have availability to look at systems that, that may not currently be fully installed yet, uh, let's look at it now from a, a viewpoint that says, well, what about those systems that I already have uh, inside my cluster, right? So this is where I might be you know, using the virtual machine manager uh, on a regular basis. Now, let's make a connection here. I just showed you a moment ago how I can do firmware updates. And I said, well, if this was an active cluster, right, maybe I was doing a firmware update for both of these machines in my active cluster, uh, I might want to choose delayed activation. So delayed activation is going to queue up that update and then wait for the next reboot. Then I can simply come over here and select my cluster and select the rolling reboot function. The rolling reboot function is going to allow me now to create a, a task. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a, a task here and I'm going to call this activate update. Right? So the idea is that through the other window I showed a moment ago, uh, I've decided what update I need. Uh, I've got that all queued up with, through the XClarity administrator. Uh, and now I'm going to, uh, and I, I delayed activation, but now I want to activate it. So I'm going to select the nodes in my cluster. I can either run this now uh, or I could schedule it for a later time. Uh, and then I can go ahead and execute that task, which is going to go to each of these, in this case, two nodes, uh, put one of them uh, into maintenance mode, right? Move all the workload off of it, reboot that system. And then in that reboot process, right, we'll deliver the new firmware down to the machine. Then once that system is back up and going, we'll move on to the next node in the cluster. So a great way to get systems updated when they're actively running in my environment. Uh, another key function of our integration here is the ability to tie into that, those hardware errors. I mentioned this in the introduction, right? The ability to understand if I've got a hardware error uh, that maybe the system hasn't failed, maybe it's a predictive failure alert, but I want to take proactive action on that. So we can set policies in this environment here. Uh, for example, here we've got selected on predictive failures, uh, on capacity loss. Maybe I want to have this happen even on redundancy loss, where I'm going to enable the, the virtual machines to migrate off of that, that key system. So once I get that policy set here, then if I did have a predictive failure alert on one of my nodes, it's going to automatically migrate the workload off of that machine in case anything else bad were to happen. So I think that's a great example of where the management of the hardware, the detailed management of the hardware 
uh, provides another layer of function when we put that into the context of what the virtual machine manager can do for Microsoft in terms of managing systems and, and putting them into maintenance mode and moving workloads around. So that's some function that's available at the cluster level. Let me select down at the individual system level here for a moment. And again, this is a, a great example of our integration with XClarity Administrator. Uh, for those that have seen that, right, you'll recognize this chassis map. It's the exact same chassis map that I have available uh, within XClarity Administrator. Now I can see that uh, from this environment. And so we can see the, the server that I have selected here. I, I can change the view here for, within the chassis map just like we have before. So if I wanted to see different power lights, for example, on the outside, or if I wanted to get a view more of my, uh, my firmware health, I could do that, right? So exactly the same uh, capabilities that we've seen within XClarity Administrator, but available here from within the Virtual Machine Manager interface instead. And then also here on the individual servers, getting back to configuration patterns, I could change the configuration pattern on an existing machine if I needed to, and I could also set up that PFA uh, event uh, information uh, on the individual servers. So with that, again, hopefully you've got kind of a feel for some of the capabilities that we have as we integrate uh, the capabilities of our hardware management within um, the Microsoft environment. It's kind of a, a quick overview of what our capabilities are with the XClarity integrator for the Microsoft System Center. And again, the key here is providing easy access to key management functions right from the standard Microsoft management consoles that many of our administrators already have and already uh, have great experience with.